During the Vietnam War, millions of rounds of ammunition would be fired by both sides of the conflict. In this video, we look at some of the more common infantry weapons used by the North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong forces. The RPK Machine Gun The RPK entered service in 1961. Externally, the weapon is essentially similar in appearance to the AK-47 assault rifle. The success of the AK-47 led to a similar design to replace the light machine gun that was in service at the time. Kalishnikov lengthened the AK with a heavier barrel and fitted a bipod to support sustained automatic fire. Kalishnikov also used the stock design, which was popular with the troops, and changed the rear sight to allow for windage adjustments. The 30 round AK magazines were interchangeable, however larger magazines of 40 and 75 round drums were also used. The RPK utilises a simple gas operated system, firing from a closed bolt. Pulling the trigger begins the firing action, a round is fired and gas is produced. When the powder burns and enters a small gas port, pushing the small pistons. The bolt is pushed back and the gas pressure is released, allowing the bolt to be pushed forward by a spring. The RPK saw extensive use by the NVA and Viet Cong forces during the war. Because it used the same ammunition as the AK-47, the RPK's thirst was always quenched. It was a particularly effective weapon in ambush situations, a tactic which the Vietnamese used regularly against US forces. AK-47 Assault Rifle The AK-47 was a design born out of World War II by Mikhail Kalishnikov. The AK-47 is a very clean design. The weapon was fitted with a solid wooden buttstock, as well as a wood-covered pistol grip and foreend. The receiver was very much slab-sided and relatively featureless, apart from the large charging handle and ejection port along the right-hand side. The rear sight was set forward along the upper portion of the receiver, near the gas cylinder. One of the most telling features of the AK-47 was its metallic curved detachable box magazine, which held 30 rounds. Another feature was the over-barrel positioning of the gas cylinder, which with the wood and magazine gave the AK-47 its highly identifiable appearance. It fired 7.62 by 39mm rounds, which were in abundance in Russia at the time. Thousands of units were shipped to the NVA in Viet Cong. It was used widely by both forces and became a headache for the US troops. Its reliability in a number of different weather conditions and even covered in dirt or sand meant it was perfectly suited for the Vietnam theatre. RPG The weapon consisted of a basic steel tube open at both ends. Over the front end was the forward sighting device, with a flip-up type design. A primary sight closer to the firer's face near the midway point of the tube. The end of the tube was open to allow propellant gases to be expelled rearwards. Under the forward section of the tube was the trigger unit and pistol grip. Wood encased the middle section of the tube as shoulder support. The rocket grenade itself was a fin stabilised munition in which the fins, being spring loaded, sprung into action upon leaving the launcher tube. This effect allowed for some accuracy over range as the projectile made its way towards the target. A trained crew could fire between three and four rocket grenades a minute out to a range of 150 metres. Range of the RPG was 200 metres, which gave the weapon use across the battlefield. While two operators were used to achieve best results, the weapon could be handled by a single person. The weapon was used widely in the Vietnam War by North Vietnamese forces against American and South Vietnamese targets for the duration of the conflict, as it was easy to come by, easy to operate and maintain, and packed a punch against unarmoured and armoured targets, as well as fortifications. SKS Rifle 
The system is a simple self-loading gas-operated weapon and fires the 7.62 by 39mm rifle round. The SKS is a basic weapon system with very little bells and whistles, a robust and well-constructed weapon that has been found to be easy to operate. The rounds can be box-fed from a standard 10-round magazine or fed by hand in single round loading. An integrated bayonet system is attached via a hinged connection underneath the barrel and can be folded out or stored. Well thought out construction means the weapon can be field stripped in a short amount of time. The 10 round capacity of the weapon in some areas is increased to 30 rounds via a slight modification. It was a favourite for the Viet Cong as its simplicity meant that it could be used by its fighters with little to no training. The bayonet system was especially useful in the guerrilla tactics used by these forces. RG-42 Grenade The RG-42 infantry hand grenade was developed by the Soviets as an anti-infantry weapon. Unlike previous stick grenade designs, the RG-42 was turned into a handier canister form. The firing pin was activated by a simple finger loop, which worked the primer, delay charge and detonator. The main charge encapsulated the workings and all this was shrouded over by the fragmentation liner and body of the grenade itself. This intended to cause as much harm as possible. The result was a lighter weight and more compact infantry weapon which went on to see considerable service. In Vietnam, it was often used by the NBA, as well as Viet Cong booby traps. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.